Howdy! Back with another video. Another battery full video this time again. I'm using it as a plug-in machine as you can see. You don't have to do it, but I do because I almost always use machine. Because uh, it's a beast and I love it. But anyway, today we're gonna talk layering samples in battery. You can do that on two different ways. You can do it in the main, but you can also do it in the editor. I'm gonna talk about the editor in another video. Today I'm gonna discuss the main. Uh, this is pretty easy. All you gotta do is uh, choose some sounds you wanna layer. Go to some cell, you know, click one cell, then go to a cell you want to have layered. You go to your computer keyboard and you press CTRL. Now you see there's a gray circle, you know, I, I, I clicked CTRL, hold it down and then press the mouse. Then you see that gray circle around it. Then you go to the key range and you click on that gray dot and you see that lights up. That means they're layered. You see? So we can add some more sounds. Let's do a little tambourine. I'm just going crazy, do some uh, all different sounds. Basically I'm doing that so you can hear the difference good when you're listening on a, on a cell phone or on a, a iPad or whatever, you know, with the crappy speakers. So you can hear the difference real good. So pressing down CTRL again, clicking the mouse, you see the gray uh, circle. Go to the key range, click on that dot again, and it's layered. So and now the beauty is um, when I want to do some effects on one sound, I can do that. Let me change. You know, I, I can mute them. So I can only or, or solo them, sorry. I mean solo. Yellow is solo and red is uh, mute. So I mute that sound. So I can hear exactly what, uh, what I'm doing. See? I can pan them. And yeah, so you can do you can also go to the facts, you know, do something with filter. You can do yeah, you can do that on each just on each sound individual. Or run all at once. You can, it's also possible if you want to, but it's nice that you can do it each sound individually. And if you don't like a sound, you just you can drag another one on it. So that's pretty nice. Or if you don't like it. it or uh, or delete it um, you can also do uh, go to the light if, if there's a sound that you would like to have in it that's not in this kit you go to the library and choose one from the samples you know you can do that also you can also pick a sound from the user slot the user bank or from the files from your hard disk, whatever. If you, if you got a nice sound on your hard disk, you just open up files, go to your hard disk, and uh, drag it in there. You know, that's you drag it, and it replaces the other one. So let's just for fun record this in machine. So now this recorded in machine. So 
so I wanted uh, I want to change that So you know you can all the you can do all that even after it's recorded, it will change also in machine. So that's kind of nice. Even when you you made a nice pattern and you think like, or when you're down further down a project, and it turns out that you might need to change some of this because it uh, it interrupts with uh, with other sounds from the frequencies or whatever. You you can do that. You can change it. So. Uh, so yeah, I think that's uh, basically that basically covers it uh, for now. So you, you can layer as much sounds as you will, as you can see. My say the CPU shoots CPU huge is uh, as good as nothing. So and also if you like to uh, save some RAM, RAM space, you click on the DFD. That means uh, you should <laughs> you should have less uh, RAM use, I think. Anyway, so that's it for today. I'm going to stop now. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you the other one in the editor. And the editor is real cool. You can do so much with this. So I'm going to show that later on. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, just ask. If you liked it, hit the like button. You can also subscribe. Do whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed. So, um, peace out.